Okay, here we go. Takes takes me several minutes to load. Once we get to the ship, then at the very beginning of this game, uh, this screen ta takes about five minutes on my computer. Uh, the very first thing is you're going to need to get carbon and ferrite. You get carbon for your scanner. You can run the scanner to find sodium and oxygen, which will keep you alive. Then when uh, you get some sodium and oxygen, you start working on your visor. When you get your visor, you'll be able to hit F, and then you'll be able to find your ship. So we may die a couple of times in the process at the beginning here. But the very first thing, again, is we're going uh, trees and plants have carbon usually. So just target trees and plants to get carbon. You'll press the left mouse key to shoot stuff with the laser. And W to go forward, A and D on a computer keyboard to go left and right, and S to go backward. This is Survival, uh, No Man's Sky 2022. And um, we will follow the basic quest line at the beginning. And then... Uh, and then see from there. We'll do a lot of exploring in this. So that may be a little bit tedious for some of you to watch. But um, I will try and talk about stuff in the game. In this case, uh, at the beginning, you're repairing the scanner first. The with, You press C to use that. The reason you'll be repairing, do, having the scanner first is because sodium will um, rebuild your hazmat, which gets worn down in a challenging environment. Once that gets worn down, then your life support goes down. That's oxygen. So sodium in a sense, is more important than the oxygen to maintain the hazardous uh, protection. Later on, you'll get upgrades, which will give you full 100% protection. So it's just at the beginning here that it'll be a little bit of a pain. Um, and usually the ion batteries will regrow the protections that you get through the add-ons. And those will be the Class A and Class S add-ons. We'll look at the beginning um, to be efficient with um, equipment slots to have maybe one of each type of add-on for the different types of environments. And then as we grow the amount of spaces we have. Okay, uh, press E and then we'll go after carbon. Look around. It looks like, oh, there's a cave right up there. All right. That dark area is probably a cave. So what do you say we run to the entrance of that cave while we get carbon? So that, um, so we're a little bit fortunate. Looks like radiation on the planet. I saw the cave to the right. So we'll hustle to that to the right. I'm pressing D to go that way. Yes. 
Right up there, that will have oxygen. Oh, no, sodium, okay. You need to get rid of those because they'll damage you. Be a little careful. Uh, let's see, there. All right, so they put a lot of toxic things at the beginning here in the entrance. So I'm almost dead. Don't go further into the cave because they have those toxic things. Let's see. Um... It says perform scan C, but we have to fix the scanner. Hit the tab key. You'll see the scanner's broken. We need ferrite dust 75. But the mining beam is going down. That takes carbon to refill it. So we need to find carbon and oxygen and not use up, I mean, um, ferrite and not use up our thing. Um, I may have to use the Q key like to hit um, carbon to refill the laser. Cobalt has value. You'll see in the exosuit, we got sodium and oxygen. Sodium refills the hazardous protection. Oxygen refills the life support. And notice we have limited inventory here. So rocks give ferrite. Okay, we're just going to step outside the cave to grab some ferrite and carbon and then we're going to run back in the cave to uh, refill our hazardous protection so let's do that See the numbers on the side there? We need 75. Fortunately, I don't see any carbon sources. And we have 75. Where's that cave? I'm not using the laser. Because if you look at your multi-tool, so you hit tab to go up to this screen. Um, the mining beam is now at 25%. The scanner, so we just, we just mined 
this ferrite, we got 79. So if you go to the multi-tool and you left click on it, and you left click, Okay, now let's use the scanner. C uses the scanner. Scanner tells you about us. So you see this signal source is in 604. Um, hit tab. I see the scanner, but I don't see the visor. I'm going to click E, and I'm going to left click on the visor. That we need to see our ship. So we're probably going to die going this 600. Uh, you know what? We've got a little bit of sodium and a little bit of oxygen here. I don't really want to get any more because I want to save the mining beam. Otherwise, if you look inside right there where the dot is, that is, um, those are the things that were doing the toxic damage. In caves, they give sodium and oxygen, but you have to be really careful. But you see this red symbol, the red and white symbol? It is six, 604 units away. If we run, then we may be able to reach that. Or find carbon nearby, maybe. I grabbed the wheat by, oh, shouldn't have done, I didn't realize what that was, okay. That is another hazardous material thing like the things in the caves. I know it's this way, so. If you can't go up a side of a hill, then you use the space bar. Where's the symbol? All right, I'll use the C scanner. Let's head for the sodium. And then we'll see if we can re refill that. You'll hit E when you get to the sodium plant. E, then tab. Then take the sodium and refill the hazardous and the oxygen for the life support. Now the ship was somewhere this way. Where was the ship? Ugh. Oh, carbon. I'm too far away from that cave now. I don't know where it is. I won't be able to find it. We're probably going to die. All right, tab, 47 carbon. How many 
I need uh, carbon nanotubes. Nanotubes require 50 carbon. Uh, there they are. I will also need the carbon to refill the tool. All right, I have 50 carbon. The If you die, the visor will stay repaired. Oh. Nanotubes. Click on the visor. Analysis visor installed. F to use the visor. There. You follow the circle. Um, do I have sto sodium? Nope. I use the shift key to run. Shift key to run. Run to the ship. I use the shift key to make me go faster. E to go in the ship. All right. Uh... Iteration, long number, then it says online. We left click. So I used E to get in the ship. When you get close, uh, the E is a common key that you use to, uh, to do stuff. Atlas connection, intermittent. Launch thrusters, offline. Pulse engine, offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Let's... Uh, Let's read the log. Unavailable, substituting data. Left click. Exosuit connected. Suggestion, pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Repair ship systems. Self-guided repair pro protocols initiated. Pulse engine critically da damaged. We need a hermetic seal and metal plating. Often in this game, when you find ships that are broken down, the pulse engines will be broken. That's the one of the most basic parts of the ships. And they will almost always, to repair them, need a hermetic seal and or metal plating. Right click to return. Let's hit the tab key. You see on the left, the top bar, that's my hazmat. For all different environments, that bar will go before your life goes. And that will refill generally when you're in the ship, but the oxygen does not refill when you're in the ship. Therefore, for the life support, I will take this oxygen and put it on there. And that puts me at 98%. The hazmat automatically goes up. Now, if I remember correctly, the wheat would bring back your uh, life to you. Carbon works similar, condensed carbon works similar to carbon. 
Before we forget, our mining beam is at 7%. So I'll put the 6 carbon. And uh, I'm going to use the condensed carbon. Oh, by, by the way, so that went to 13%. So the 6 carbon raised us 7%. The condensed carbon raised us a whole lot more percent there. Now we're at two-thirds of our energy for our multi-tool. And uh, let's see. If I step out, you'll notice in a second my, um, you see the bar is going down? But now you can face it towards the radiant pillar, your ship, and press E, and you'll see the bar will go back up. For the starship, if you click, go from exosuit, click on starship, you see there, the two red items are the launch thrusters and the pulse engine. The launch thrust thrusters need ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. The pulse engine needs hermetic seal and metal plating. If you go to the exosuit and left click a spot, you'll see you can make carbon nanotubes and you can make metal plating which takes 50 ferrite dust. You can also make the dihydrogen jelly there with 40 dihydrogen. So we need 40 dihydrogen. We need at least 50 ferrite. That will fix, if we go to the starship, um, the metal plating. I need one of those. Again, to make the metal plating, I need 50 ferrite dust. Also, I don't know I don't know how to make a hermetic seal. It's not listed there. Uh, pure ferrite you can get with a refiner. By refining ferrite, you can get uh, 50 ferrite, I believe. You can get uh, pure ferrite. It may be a hundred, sometimes it's two to one for stuff. And uh, so the pure ferrite will need to make a refiner. And the dihydrogen jelly, uh, we will make with dihydrogen. It will take 40 dihydrogen. Okay, so let's see if we can just uh, play a little longer here and get some resources close to the ship. Uh, particularly things like carbon and... Uh, Oh, use F, then left click. You see the second is uranium on there. F, left click. Oh, let's actually, oh, there's a cave here. Use F, that will show you hazardous things. Hit F. It looks like there's nothing hazardous. We can scan stuff while we're here. Scanning puts a second item often on stuff. And you cannot get the second item until it's been scanned. Also, we're receiving units for scanning. That will give us money to spend on other stuff. I don't know what that was. Um, F. I'll scan the animal. The green paw means he's not going to attack you. If it turns red, then he is. Now...
Notice the secondary element is ferrite dust. I mean, is uh, uranium. We don't really need uranium right now, but you can use it in the place of launch fuel. Salt we could use to refill our hazardous material. I'd really like to find something with carbon. Some often on these types of planets, the rocks have carbon second on them. So I'll need to use my scanner to get to that. But I'll take some of that salt. If you get the scanner red, then um, it, it will destroy the items quicker. We'll need that dihydrogen jelly there. It has salt. I'll take some salt. And I'm also getting ferrite. But I don't want to waste too much fuel until I find some carbon. Too much of um, what my gun has. I'm looking for sources of carbon. Ah. Let's actually we I want to analyze one of those first before I shoot it. F to look for hazardous materials. I see some on the left. You see it going up? So again, to scan, I hit the F key and then I put it on the item and then I left click on the item to scan it. And it'll make you uh, units. And we, if you're in a cave, use that opportunity to scan some things. A lot of this has ferrite dust and uranium because it's radioactive. Pure ferrite. We, we actually need the pure ferrite uh, to repair one of the items on the ship. That's pure ferrite also. All right, my protection is back up. See if we have any carbon around here. Well, you see plants often there is a source F analyze left click to analyze ferrite dust and uranium oh look at that we got the giant worms on here pretty cool All right. We got, so let's scan it this time and see what's second. And uh, let me scan this rock.
And let's go back to our ship. And see what we got out of that carbon because our radiation protection is falling. So we know if we head out towards the front of the ship. Oh, we can get th those plants provide... The red plants, when you press E on them, they'll provide oxygen. Uh, we'll actually, we'll need some oxygen for something else later, too. Okay, so <clears throat> 52 carbon. So let's make sure our mining beam is full. We're at 98%. So we will head for that carbon again, and we will also get ferrite dust, which you see down in the lower right is what we need to fix, to craft a metal plate to fix the uh, pulse engine. If you hit the escape key, you can see that we're on this repair mission. If you click on the awakenings, it will switch your mission, but we really do need to fix the ship first. So we saw the carbon straight out from the front of the ship and the radiation um, hazmat bar disappeared. Now let's run up I'm going to go get carbon while I'm getting the ferrite because we'll need some to refill the gun as we shoot the ferrite. And there's ferrite and uranium. We're getting launch fuel while we're getting ferrite. That's why it's important to scan the stuff for the second item sometimes. We are getting a second item that we'll be able to use later while we're doing this. Um, I'd like, I'm being a little careful about the carbon. I don't want to run out. Because carbon is a little rare here. Make, I want to make sure I have enough. Let's head back to the ship. If you can't see it, you can press F on your visor to see the ship. There aren't too many resources close to the ship here. And a lot of times in the caves, there's cobalt. There may not be much ferrite near the entrance. Now, if I hit tab, you'll see I got 173 ferrite and 24 carbon. Um, as a priority, I'm going to keep the multi-tool charged. I'm going to stick the uranium over here as uranium refills the launch thrusters, I believe. Uh, now we have, uh, we have 50 ferrite, you can see on the lower right of the screen. So it's doing that because it wants you to build the metal plate. You can build it in any box. If I left click on a box and left click the metal plate, because you have the 50 ferrite dust, it will make it. Then if you go to the starship, the pulse engine needed the metal plating. Left click the pulse engine 
and left click the metal thing and that's repaired. All right, the Starship Diagnostic turns on. Left click, Starship critically damaged. Uh, you always need to fix the, thru what is it, the, thru the, thru the pulse engine on crashed ships pretty much, just about. Vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize components because you don't have the recipe yet for a hermetic seal. Let's click request assistance. So there's a hermetic seal nearby. We need to salvage the planetary chart from the distress beacon. That's that spherical thing right in front of the ship. So left click. And it's recommending that we get a hermetic seal. Then we need dihydrogen jelly and then pure ferrite. All right, so uh, it's the, qu the quest you can see in the lower right of the screen or you can click escape. Um, actually, yeah, you need the lower right of the screen. Search distress beacon for the hermetic seal. So I use E to exit the si si um, ship. You notice that red and white um, symbol. Then press E. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel empty cause sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer. Fresh iteration generated, anomaly container prepared. All right, I'll click broadcast. Broadcast received, traveler anomaly detected, left click. Anomaly is compliant position logged. System integrity scan initialized, left click. A red light fills my vision. All I see is crimson and then it fades. The color drains and the words that had seemed so clear seem to slip away. I peer inside the beacon's housing, as well as its distress broadcast unit. It contains a planetary chart. I'll take the planetary chart. All right, so it gives me directions on the lower right. I'll hit the tab key and I will click E to plot route. The hermetic seal is 895 units. I'll use C. I'd like to find sodium to refill myself as I head back. I'm going to grab this oxygen, although I will need oxygen later. So I, I may not want... Uh-oh. What was that? Um... So there's sodium on the way, 123 units to the thing. Let me refill before heading there. Now let's think about at 893, that's a long way to go. And if a storm comes, we could die um, although we'd probably make it, especially with the sodium. In fact, I do believe at this point the game automatically gives a storm between the ship and those coordinates. In fact, let's search those items over there before we go as well and see what we can get because there may be sodium in these and carbon for the gun. E to search. All right, we could use some di dihydrogen. Rusted metal kind of takes up an inventory slot. Hey, 36 carbon. And sodium, that will help us refill our hazardous. 
protection. Right now, living slime just kind of takes up an inventory spot. All right, and the launch fuel will stick on the starship. So let's place some of this into the ship. You have to be close to your ship to access its cargo. Hit tab. Um, and if we and if we die, whatever we leave on the ship stays there. So um, you may want to put some stuff on the ship, especially if you're dying a lot. Okay, again, the salt will refill our hazardous protection. Oxygen will refill our um, life support. In fact, um, the life support will not go up. You need oxygen or life support gel or dioxide. Life support gel is made with dihydrogen. If we have a furnace, we can actually multiply the dihydrogen by making dihydrogen gel and then cooking it. But you have to have a good source of carbon to do that. And this planet does not have um, good carbon. Okay, so I'm going to go out, see to scan. I'm going to run, let's see. I'm going to run towards the salt, if you don't mind, because I'm going to refill that with the salt and then head for where we're going. We'll be closer at the salt to our destination. Uh, where is that salt plant? See to scan. Did I miss the salt? Oh well. <laughs> let's let's head for the item. We'll scan again in a minute. I'm heading for the coordinates. Cause I didn't see the sodium. Maybe you saw it? Uh oh, I told you about that storm and yet I left. So that was a mistake that I made. See? Scanner is still recharge. Oh, it just recharged. You see that in the lower left of the screen? All right, there's oxygen on the, it looks like, on the way. Uh, tab, salt, oh no, 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 sodium, all right, I made a mistake. That may... Why did you people let me forget that the storm was coming? So the lesson here is to wait on that ship. Ah, uh, I died. In such seconds of decision, Entire futures are made. Dan Simmons, Hyperion. All right, we have the scanner. Oh. Also, you tend to lose your items when you die.
Use shift to go faster. Shift lets you go faster. Tab, do I have any oxygen? No, I'm going to die again. All right, so that'll be a second death. So let's see, we died once so far. I should have waited in the ship until after the storm. That's the lesson there. There's plenty of carbon on the way, though. I noticed that. And that would be death number two. The supreme irony of life is that hardly anyone gets out of it alive. Robert Heinlein. Robert Heinlein is a science fiction author. Shall we do this again? At least there's no storm this time. I'll use shift to run a little quicker. Oh. A deuterium rich plant will let your backpack go quicker. Um, th th space bar to use that. Um, if you go high up and you run out of fuel, then you die. I hit shift to make myself go quicker. I'm avoiding the rocks a little bit, so because they'll get in my way. Although I can use the space bar to get over them if I need to. Oops, didn't mean to hit the left mouse key. Shift makes me go quicker. Ah, sodium. E, E, tab, sodium on the hazmat. I use shift to go a little quicker. Shift to speed that. Now you see on the right, that thing has to refill before you can hit shift again. The lower right corner. When that runs out, my quick running runs out. I see a little yellow glow up ahead there. So that's more sodium. We'll get that. Shift. Where's the sodium? I thought, oh, it's there. All right, I got some sodium. Where was I going? There. And there are the containers. I'll go in the first container to refill my hazardous protection. And then we'll gather some resources close by here. 
Now, while we're in here recovering our radiation, you see this globe here? If you move your mouse over it, it says Universal Language Database. Press E, and then left click. There's a life form dictionary. Then you click Learn Word, and you see it says the GEC word for GEC. But that tells us we're in a GEC solar system. If I hit the escape key and go to discoveries, it gives the name of the system. It says it's discovered by D-Gang, that's me. Radioactive, um, sentinels require obedience, flora medium, numerous. Now, by the way, we have units, nanites, and quicksilver I lost my units when I died. I will wait on uploading what I've discovered because you can upload these and get uh, nanites until after I'm pretty sure I'll survive. Okay, so let's go to the next machine, the next uh, shelter. Okay, we have several items here. Stock transfer, press E, and it will give you units. The hollow archive, press E. Accessing archive, six of seven logs corrupted. Entry follows. No one making this recording in case. All right. No one kssst, making this recording in case. Kssst, leaving behind kssst, in the fabricator. Kssst, might be of some use. Kssst, visor damage. Kssst, can't find ship. Um, that's a regular thing that happened to this guy. That happened to us. Typically, you're going to have that happen in the game. So... Uh, it gets generally a little bit easier. Recover supplies. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. Amazing machine. I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Left click. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. And notice I am able to make a hermetic seal now. You see on the craft product, I know how to make it. Now on the starship, we need dihydrogen jelly um, and pure ferrite. All right, so return to the ship. We'll need some ferrite. F, and the ship is that way. You see the ship symbol? Ah, uh, there's salt in this. I'll take whatever salt I can get here. And I'm getting ferrite at the same time. I don't really need the uranium, but I will need salt. All right, I'll right click. Tab, click this, click sodium, and stick it in there.
I'm checking the things for some salt as I'm going. And I think I'll grab some carbon on the way. I need that dihydrogen. Uh, this requires an Atlas Pass to open. Tab, life support, sodium. That's all the sodium I had, so <clears throat> hopefully it'll be enough. I'm heading back to the ship. You see the symbol of the ship there? No time to analyze stuff now. Uh, be careful of that plant to the right. That is a toxic plant. Like in the caves. I use the shift key to go up a little quicker. Go around the rocks. There's our ship. Ship to run. E to go into the ship. Tab. All right. Hermetic seal. Now I saw pure ferrite in the cave, and we have dihydrogen jelly nearby. So actually, we should be able to do this now. Watch. Um, let's head to the cave, because I saw some pure ferrite. I don't remember which cave we saw it at but there were some rocks at the entrance. And actually, uh, the life support, we have no oxygen. All right, we can find oxygen in here too. So hit F. We're looking for those toxic things. That'll give us oxygen to refill. Or sodium. We, uh, having some extra sodium will be useful. And uh, we may be able to find some pure ferrite. I think these are worth something, but I'm going to save my inventory right now. And if I die, what's the point? Well... Press E to take those. 29,000, so not bad. All right, before going further, F. Right. 
It's not showing any hazardous. Uh, scan that. I don't think that has anything we need. Pure ferrite, but it needs an advanced mining laser here. Okay. When you want the hazardous things, you don't see them. That's ironic. When you don't want the hazardous things and you walk into a cave, uh, they'll get you. There should be an exclamation point. I'd like to show you that. And I'd also like to find good pure ferrite in here without... This has ferrite. Uh, hit Z. You see there's a refiner here requires metal plating and oxygen to make. So we're actually going to need oxygen and ferrite to make a uh, refiner. And we can make pure ferrite in a refiner. I also don't want to get lost in the cave. Ah, you see those things over there? They're like breathing. If you hit F, there's an exclamation point by them. Okay, you target them and shoot. We got sodium and oxygen. Since my oxygen is low, I'm going to work on refilling that next. And uh, even though I need oxygen for the um, um, to get the pure ferrite. All right, I don't want to go any further this way. Because I'll get lost. I can see the entrance right there. So let's head up this way a little bit. Right there. You see those on the ground? They're hazardous. Oh boy, that would kill me. Sodium. I would like the one that has oxygen. these. See, if you had run over here, you would be dead.
Let's see. 31. We actually have enough for that thing. Um, we have a little bit of carbon. So you notice these are sodium and oxygen. For some reason, the visor isn't showing them. There. Okay, I think that's enough. If we can still find our way out. Yes, gotta be a little careful about getting lost in these caves. Uh, use your C scanner to find the dihydrogen. So click C and look for the letter H for dihydrogen. That way, 73 units. So I'm, most of that Right here, there's some. So I didn't use a lot of that oxygen because I want it to help complete the quest. I'm going to use the C scanner uh, recharging. F, if you lose track of where your plane is, there. So this big cube here with, actually it has salt. We can head right in here. Thirteen percent. Um, we need carbon. I know there was some out this way that the scanner had picked up. Run C. Follow the H. I went in the cave because I felt like it was a little closer 
and I might be able to get some more oxygen. All right, I have the 40 dihydrogen that I need back to the plane. Careful about falling, you could kill yourself. E. Okay, now we, we need to craft the dihydrogen jelly. Tab. I can click. Now, because in my exosuit I've got 54 dihydrogen, by clicking, 40 of those can be used to make the dihydrogen jelly. So I left click on the box and le left click on the dihydrogen jelly. Then I left click again and, uh, well, actually, here, I'll click the launch thruster and click that. Now we need pure ferrite. We can get that by making a refiner. So, um, E to come out, press Z. I need one metal plating for the refiner. So let's go in, tab, go to the exosuit, left click, and there's a metal plate. So I hit Z, left click, and left click when it's green. Then E, fuel inverter. I'm going to put the last of the carbon there. And then put the ferrite dust in there. And actually, no... How much pure ferrite do we need? Sorry. Might as well redo the radiation while I check this. So we need... We need 50 pure ferrite. So I'll click... Click on the ferrite. Use S to, to bring the stack size all the way down. I believe 50 ferrite dust will produce 50 pure ferrite. Begin. S to go down and W to go up in the amount that you put in there. And I've got just a little bit of carbon left. Pure ferrite, drop it in the exosuit. Right click to go out, center click to pick up the refiner, then use E to go in the plane. Tab, click on the launch thruster. We have uh, exactly 50 pure ferrite. If you don't mind, I'm gonna, um, for the multi-tool, Click the mining beam and put the last of the carbon in there. <laughs> we have 11% left. We need to get carbon next. Um, so this is pretty tight here. 
I have, okay, there's the 50 pure ferrite. All right, click on the launch thrusters. I'm happy because the ship is repaired. Now, before we do anything else, we need more carbon. I'm, I'm not going to leave the planet yet. There's plenty. Look, for the launch thrusters, you can stick the uranium in there. So as long as we can get carbon. So I remember in front of me there was carbon. So I'm going to hit W and just fly low and slow. using the W key and the mouse to direct it a little bit. Now I think we ran, I think we ran this way. So we want to get some carbon before we run out on our gun. W, uh, a little bit of W will keep it going without going too quick. But we're not gonna seek answers among the stars yet. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I would land this and pause this for you so you don't have to watch me doing this. It is really hard to find carbon on this. I'm tempted to go to a space station, sell the things and buy carbon and ferrite. You know what, let's do that. Let's look for the space station. So you point it up towards the stars and you can hit the shift key to go up a little quicker. Now there's a diamond shape for the space station. It is literally on the other side of this planet. Lovely. Okay. So I'm going to use the left shift key to pass the planet a little bit. In fact, let's head it in the direction where the dot for the space station is. If you see that navigation circle, that means the space station is below us. Goodness. Use the D to make it go to the right, the A to go to the left. It wants me to use the space bar, but I'm not going to use the space bar until I get to where I can go to the space station. Is this planet big or what? I'm always pointing it roughly towards where that diamond is because that is most likely the space station. Let's go a little bit away from the planet. Maybe going kind of slow because I'm near the planet. You 
I'm not really interested in fighting. Um, All right, generally I like to move to make myself harder to hit. Left mouse key to shoot it. Shift to go towards those things. Now there's another one somewhere. Oh, did I get all of them? All right. Trying to get past this planet to where we can head for the space station. If the space station is underneath the circle, then you go down. There. Whoops. <laughs> Here. By the way, if you're pointed towards a planet and you hit C, I believe generally it will tell you about the planet. I think it's going to wait until I, ah, there it is, C to scan. Not sure why it's not, um... Not scanning. All right, you know what? I'm gonna warp. So you hit the space bar to warp. C to scan. Press the space bar. That strange shaped thing, space bar will get you there. I'm going to finish the episode stopping in that space station. Um, we'll answer the communication afterward. We're, <laughs> we'll put them on, let it, let our voicemail take it for now. Whoops. Did I shoot right past that thing? All right, you see the blue? Using the left shift, I head for that blue there, and it will automatically bring you into the space station. And if you hit the asteroids, they might damage you. So you have to be a little careful. E to go out. Now let's do a few things here. Shift to run. Go to the circular area, hit E, click cell. These vortex cubes are worth 47,066 units. So I'm going to sell them. Left click and it will sell them. 
Now I'm at 49,000. So while we were in that cave, grabbing those um, put us in a good situation. Now go to buy. Go down. They don't sell carbon. Tab. Let's see. I need carbon, condensed carbon, or phosphorus to recharge the mining beam. I don't see any people. Goodness. Okay. I would like to end this where I'm in a decent situation. Which means, by the way, that I have carbon and stuff. Sorry this is turning out to be a little long. I just uh, want to get to... Uh, all right, hit W to launch. Uh, actually, let's talk to this guy. W to go over to the guy. Uh, go over. They usually get out on this side of the ship. And they walk around. You go over. You press E. We don't understand it any. Let's um, buy items from life form. Do you see any carbon? No, neither do I. Tempted to buy a life support gel as a backup. But no, I don't wanna, we wanna watch our money at the beginning here. So in search of carbon, we go. W to launch. Uh, X to answer the communicator. F, XF. Incoming transmission. Left click. Please identify yourself. I'm X. Okay, I identify myself. You are not X alone. Well, that's nice to know that we're not alone. <laughs> Follow the kss. The broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary, planetary coordinates. So let's follow their leading input coordinate data. You see at the top of my screen, there's that red and white symbol. We look to face, face it, it's on the other side of the station. So I go around the station, use the shift key to go a little quicker. Whoops. All right, it's on the planet. If, if I press at, um, E, no, shift, space, hit, hit the space bar. It will go there quickly. So the space bar is what does the fast drive for you. Leave it on the space bar. You're not going to collide with the planet. You see it slows down as you enter the atmosphere. I'm going to help it along with the W key a little bit. Now I'm aiming a little bit below the item so I can straighten the ship up and look around a little bit as I approach it. So now I'm beginning to angle there. S to slow down. S to slow down.
Now, I'm not actually landing yet. I'm looking to see what this is leading me towards. Did you see anything down there? I didn't see anything down there. <laughs> Let's, uh... This looks a lot like that radiation planet, doesn't it? I'm a little concerned carbon is going to be a problem, continue to be a problem here. Uh, and oxygen and sodium. S. I'm trying to look around a little bit here, people. Looks like there's a cave down there. That's some carbon right there. All right, let's land. Um, let's land by that. We'll have to watch out for this ca cave here. S and then E to land. E to go out. F in the visor. Target is about 258 that way. E to press. Usually E will drop a marker. See that marker? We'll go back in the ship. 258 isn't that far, actually. Before we take off, let's actually use uh, C and see if there's some condensed carbon close. C scan. Sodium. Hydrogen. Actually, does the scanner... I forget if it tells us if there's carbon. Let's land, well, there's O2 there. Hmm. It's to the right of the ship. All right, let's go. Not enough launch fuel. We saved this, and we didn't lose it when we died because we put it on the ship. E and E. And it will recognize the fuel. Where was that pin? Didn't we put a pin down, people? There it is. All right, the signal was a little bit this way. Let's go S E to land. All right, E, then F. All right, let's see what we got. We got uranium, F. All right, so if you hit F and you hit one, you can get that thing off. C to scan.
uh, we're going to grab that stody. Oh, here's carbon right here. Awesome. I grabbed that because it has salt also. We're going to collect more carbon because we're desperate for carbon. <laughs> and actually, we need oxygen, too. Let's add that oxygen to the life support. It's a little bit better. Those pink plants are the only thing with carbon. I'll focus on carbon until my radiation protection goes, and then I'll see if we can fill the gun. A uh, cue to hit. Radiation protection. All right. Let's. And we have just a little bit of carbon left. So now. When we go out, we will look for the signal source and see if we can gather some more resources over there because we're short on everything. All right, so E, then F, target aligned. At 143, that's not too bad. 143 units is doable. There it is. Let's do all of this. This gives us a navigation. I really need carbon more than navigation. Oh, ion battery.
The sparkling wires of the machine generate a signal, tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decipher signal. Decoding 16, 16, 16. Left click. Entry. No fuel in. Kssst. Failed to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to kssst. underground. Kssst. Deployed base computer. As well as the log entry. The signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. Extract plans. All right, learned how to build the base computer. I'm not people, I'm not staying on this planet anymore to do this. I'm done with this planet. I hate to tell you, there's no carbon here. It's extremely hard to get. I'm going to look for another planet that seems to have more resources. If we have enough fuel to launch, we're just going to... Um, and frankly, the chromatic metal to uh, make the... Um, You will need, the reason it's saying copper for the base computer is we need to make chromatic metal. In the starship, um, if, if we fight pirates, sometimes we get chromatic metal. All right, let's look for another planet. You don't have to build your base computer on the same planet you're on. Well, let me scan this planet. That one to the right there looks a little bit like a marble. That might be a nice planet. What is wrong with this game? It's not letting me scam planets. All right, C. That marble looking planet, um, I. Boy, the computer really punishes you if you don't put the base on the... Let's go this way. C to scan. Frost crystal, copper, dioxide, magnetized ferrite. And it will be cold. Um, I'm pretty sure there's gonna there's plants on cold planets. So I think that should be better. And actually I would want a planet with frost crystal and dioxide on it to have a base. So looks like we got away from the hostile scan. So we're going to start out on this planet instead. I'll end this when I get a little bit of carbon and oxygen and sodium. What do you say we look for somewhere that looks like it might have... What was that? Let's circle around. Is that a building? A 
that looks like a tree. I do believe that would be a communication tower. Uh, we better look and see what kind of sentinels we have. Okay, that's another thing in the game. You see that thing in front with the eyeball? It will go after you if you uh, mine too many resources. So there are regular patrols. All right. Not too bad. Let's scan these trees. That will get carbon. All right, where's our ship? There. E. Okay, now let's see. The multi-tool, mining beam, 39 carbon. All right, we're at 100%. We have 252. Now, we have cargo spots here, two of them. You could move one of those 250 carbons. You can stack 500 here, so we can actually... We could put the 500 there if we want. No, uh, the frost crystal eventually we will probably want some of that. All right. You see the life supports at 42%. We can make life support gel out of dihydrogen and refill that or uh, we can find oxygen so see to scan there's some oxygen
Now the plane is that way. Yeah, after being um, hungry, let's scan this. Just ferrite dust. Oh, we can use some of this. I think I got all of that. Let's see. I could make a jelly. What do I want to do here? 66. But I seem to have plenty of carbon. Let's do this. Let's make a dihydrogen jelly. That's 40 dihydrogen, right? Then when I go out, use Z, place the portable refiner. E, put in the dihydrogen jelly, put in the carbon, notice now I'll get 50. Let's look at that for a second. I now have 76 dihydrogen. A minute ago, I had less. Let's do that again. Make a dihydrogen jelly. Can't make two. Let's go out. Z. I should have left the refiner down. In fact, let's do this. Let's uh, put the jelly in there. And when, you, when I picked it up, it took the fuel away. So let's do this a little more efficiently. Let's make the dihydrogen jelly. Let's press E to make a second dihydrogen jelly. Let's go out. E. Put the two jellies in there. Begin. Go back in the ship. 106 dihydrogen. Let's do this one more time. And then we'll fill our life support using a life support gel. And then... Um, and then actually I'll stop the video because then I will be in a situation to do the next stage, which is to find copper and, uh, and stuff. So let me show you this trick a little bit further. So the life support gel to, uh, well... Put the two gels in there. This is now, uh, whoops, E, 
E. Now I have three of them. I think I may collect resources off the video. And I think that's enough. Notice I get my carbon back, a lot of it. Now make one dihydrogen jelly. Stick it in my life support. What? Click the life support. Oh yeah, um... Synthesized from rocket fuel, crystals, and carbon. Why did I remember? I'll make a rocket fuel. Metal plating. Launch fuel. And then the life support gel. And put it on there. Okay, so I am now full on the life support, full on the hazard protection, and in a good situation. E saves it. Options, quit to desktop, yes, and thank you for watching.